Hey Dakota, this is Keaton Everett from ABC going over your pitching video from the spring break camp. Uh, we'll just kind of break down your your motion here and, and kind of talk about mechanics and and what we need to do to to get consistent, to stay healthy, and to get the most velocity, and um, you know just be releasing the ball in a in a in the right way to to you know better yourself as a pitcher, keep yourself healthy and to you know utilize all your body to to get the right angles to release the ball as close as we can with as much angle movement um, as we can so we'll just start off first off right off the bat of how we're coming set how we're starting you know how we start dictates so much of how we're going to finish how we're going to deliver the ball and it and it you know is is one of the most important but least kind of talked about areas of the of the delivery so um, the most important part is posture and balance, all right? So if we just kind of draw your your spine and, and you watch what your head's doing, you know, through your, your start is perfect, all right? You are balanced. You don't see your head leave the box. A lot of times you'll see guys um, head and body go backwards first, but you're staying back. You're over this back leg, all right? So everything's good there. Now what we need to fix a little bit is just to get ourselves initially more athletic all right having both your feet together isn't the most athletic position it's not the most balanced so we just need to bump this this foot out just a little bit more all right it doesn't need to be wider than shoulder width just something a little more athletic just kind of like if you're shooting free throw you know and it, it gets yourself just kind of your body ready to be more athletic all right now what we do now what we want to do is we want to keep this back head where where you are we want to keep this back ear over this back foot so when we pop that that foot out we don't want the body to to stay in the middle of our of our we don't want the head to stay in the middle of our body so so you're keeping everything the same from here down except when you're coming set your foot's just a little bit out so now your weight still but your weight's still going to be over that back leg all right so nothing changes body wise just pop that foot out a little bit, but stay loaded up on that back side like, you, like you're doing, okay? So everything's good there. All right, everything's good. Now what we want to see in this position is less, you know, drop and posture deviation. See here how your, your posture is really far back. All right, we want to see this, this back leg loaded up the other way so right now you're kinda loaded up towards the first baseman alright we want to see that knee you know kinda leading yourself as those as these hips are going so you kinda want to see that knee go forward and then the hip go forward um, a little more powerfully a little more aggressively okay but you are keeping the, your leg closed off so you're keeping your hips closed which is good alright you're breaking your hands as that legs going forward um, Another thing to, to play around with is because you do drop your arm all the way down is to come set with your hands a little bit lower closer to your body so it eliminates this down movement with your hand. You know we want to eliminate all the unnecessary movements to make everything easy it makes it a little more consistent so the less you know travel time we have in our hands the more consistent we're going to be. Okay so as you're coming forward all right you're getting your, you're getting this deviation here. We just want to see. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Maybe a little bit back, but this is just a little extreme. All right, and and we'll kind of watch what what that leads to. All right. Um, glove hand wise, your glove hands pronating out towards um, the first baseman, or I guess for your case the third baseman. All right. We want to see this wrist in neutral position. We want the elbow to be doing the work. We don't want elbow locked out. You know, we never want our joints locked at all, ever. And we want just to keep a, a neutral wrist, okay? And, and this, this also leads to the next thing we're going to kind of talk about. So basically just pay attention to the spine and the glove, and we'll keep going forward. So as you can see, you're keeping this spine angle throughout your entire delivery. And at this point... You have a, a, a back bend and, you know, a leaked front side that 
you know, at, at this position, you know, you're, you're losing power, but it's, it's putting yourself in a, in, a, in a position of greater strain on your arm, and it's, and it's just a little more high risk of injury, all right? We need to see your back and that posture. You know, we want to see a little bit more straight, a little less bow in it. You know, when your back bows, it needs to happen kind of more out in front of your body. So you want to see, you know, everything online. Just just think about keeping your head over your over your center of gravity, over that belly button, as long as you can. All right. Then your foot comes down, and at this position, you're cutting yourself off. You could probably, you know, get yourself out a little bit farther. And and the, and the thought process there is is keep your hips closed, drive them farther down the mound, and don't think about reaching out with that right foot. Um, so that'll help too. But in this position, we, we want to see this. You know, you, you do have good torque, all right? The, your hips coming forward before this upper body, but it's just early, all right? You're already, we just, we just want to eliminate this curve in your back until you're, you're bringing your, your elbow or your shoulder forward. So as you're coming forward now, you should be seeing that bend instead of back here, if that makes sense. So in this position, we want to see head more over that belly button, all right, and then as everything's coming through, as this hip's coming through, then you can start to see that that bow in the back, and and part of your upper body being early is that you're seeing your back foot come off the ground, so that's losing power. Um, you know, if you're going to punch someone, you want to have two feet on the ground. It's more athletic, it's more powerful. We're driving, we're using more legs, so getting yourself out farther, not rotating so early on the upper body, that's going to fix that. And then what you're going to see too is you're releasing the ball. You know, you probably release the ball back here. You're releasing that ball over that back foot or that front foot. All right. Your angles are straight here and you can see your back foot at this position. So ideally we'd want to see, I'll use a blue line here, Ideally, we'd want to see back foot on the ground still. All right. We want to see a little less angle, so you're kind of at 90 degrees right now. And we want to see this little front leg out a little bit farther. All right, something like this in the lower body. And then what this does is because you're able to drive through your toes, is that this creates, you know, this kind of where, the, where your thigh would be you know now we're getting this angle so our chest is out over that front foot our backs not straight you know now you're out here and now you're you're releasing that ball you know out over your front foot and and with with the way you are now I mean you could probably pick up another at least another foot of release point you know we want to release that ball as close as we can to the catcher alright um, and so when you're releasing back here over this green line, that ball's flat. I, I would imagine you, you miss up a lot. You know, as you're staying on it more out here on the blue line, <clears throat> now your hand's coming down on the baseball. Now you're creating an angle, you're getting movement, you're using more power, more velocity, um, and it puts yourself just in a, in a more healthy position. Because as you're watching your arm, as you can see your arm here, all right, that puts a big load on that shoulder, having your arm um, at that kind of 90 degree angle. You want to drive so much through the ball that, you know, and, and to you, you, you see your chest down over here, you get a flat back, and that takes a lot of that load off that shoulder. So, you know, you're just, let this arm get out there, let that arm extend, and just let, let your body take the load instead of your shoulder. So right now you're putting a big load on that shoulder, not a whole lot of load on the rest of your body. We want that whole body to take the load. All right, and as you're finishing, you'd see yourself farther out, you know, over that front foot. But, um, you know, just a few changes, you'll be able to, you know, it's, it's easy. Just use more of those legs, get more power, and you'll be good to go. So, anyways, hope you have a great summer this year, great, great time. I uh, hope you had a great time at camp, and we look forward to seeing you again with ABC.